Hi, this is Jim. Uh, it was raining this morning, so I, no sunrise pictures, but I went to Green K about 8 a.m. And uh, we start off with some common moorhens with uh, three chicks. They're at the age, still at this very young age, and they've got their little bald tops of their heads. They look like little monks, I think. Feathers are just starting to grow on tops of their heads. Very cute little guys there. And by the way, they're waiting. They're not swimming. Okay, then. next coming up are some swimmers. Here are blue winged teals. There's uh, three ducklings and one adult. Probably the mother, but who can say? They, they're waiting here, but we'll see them swim in a little bit. The, the chicks are very drab, little, little spots on them. They're very good camouflage. And I'm sure that's by design. Okay, here comes the mama duck. She's basically just watching over them. Okay, now they're, they're coming very close underneath the boardwalk. I'm just looking down on them. And uh, here comes Mama, right underneath the boardwalk. Here they are coming out on the other side. Now they're definitely swimming. And they're very good swimmers, even, even the little ones. I mean, just second nature to them. She lets them go ahead and just kind of hangs back and watches. Next we have a black neck stilt. I never get tired of watching these guys. I don't know if this one uh, has a mate nearby in a nest. They, they have been nesting, I know, at Lakota Hatchie. It's a red winged blackbird you hear in the, in the background. Very distinctive uh, song that they sing. Later on at Wakota Hatchie, we're going to see some uh, babies. We're going to try to see them. They're very difficult to see. But that comes later. Okay, next is one of my favorites. Uh, Rosette Spoonville. This one happens to be sleeping. It has his head tucked under his wing. They just stand like that for long periods of time sleeping. You're standing like this in the water or perched on a, on a tree limb. It looks like a little common moorhen in the background behind it. Now I'm panning to the left here and uh, there's a great blue heron. He's walking along, wading along, uh, looking for something to spear with his, his long beak. I saw something else over here, so let's let's pan a little bit more. Go a little lower, Jim. Come on, a little bit lower. Yeah, down here. There we go. Uh, that's a little common moorhen. Okay, that's about it for Green K. Uh, that's a least turn. And now we're on to Wakotahashi Wetlands. This is an Hinga feeding his chicks. And we go right to black neck stilt with chicks. Now here, you're going to have to strain your eyes a bit to see the chicks. They're very small. You see them moving around on, on the earth behind or somewhere nearby the, the adults. I see a three of them right now. They're kind of grayish colored and grayish brown, a little bit of white, little light color to them too. They just really just blend in. Perfect camouflage, which is, you know, the way it should be. We want these guys to grow up and be big uh, black death stilts, as big as they get anyway. Now, they don't seem to be sitting on the nest anymore. They were yesterday. One of them was. The other one was standing hard. So maybe the last of the eggs have hatched. I don't know.
Still light rain coming down. You look closely, you can still see the little chicks running around there. Oh, now this one's kind of setting down almost as if it was on a nest. Zoom, there's, there's one of the chicks you can see a little more clearly. I apologize for the lack of uh, focus here. It's, I just don't have the equipment for this kind of photography, I guess. There's a, a little one, I believe, uh, right to, the, to the, the adult's right and one above its head also. Now this one here, right below it, he's like, he's like wants to get on back into the nest, back underneath the mama. It almost looks like mama's nudging, nudging the chick away. Say no, that that part's over. You kind of got to get out and run around here now. Okay, now we're going to some black belly whistling ducks. Uh, there's two chicks. They're starting with 14, and uh, of course they they lost those the rest of them to to predators. But that's nature. That's the way, the way of the world. Let's uh, hope that these two, they're getting a little bigger now. Remember when they were very, very small. And, uh, just a little bit bigger. Still have the, the mark, same markings they had when they were first born, though. Okay, that's pretty much it for today. Y'all take care. This is Jim.